side of the castle here in, uh, in uh, Fort Houghton, the Bayside Historic Society, one of our favorite groups, and some of the most important people in the community, Alexandra, Henry Euler, Alum, uh, board members of the Bayside Historic Society, it's really a pleasure to talk to you. It's great to have you here. It's a wonderful day, and you guys helped put this on. Thanks very much. We uh, were co-sponsoring with Paul Pallone, with our councilman, and the borough president, Melinda Katz, and we're very happy to do this for the community. Al Alan, tell people what you'd like to know about the Bayside Historic Society and why they should join. The Bayside Society uh, exists primarily to um, help preserve and uh, disseminate information about the history of Northeastern Queens and the Bayside and, the, and Bay Terrace and uh, Whitestone and all these other parts of the community that make part of uh, Greater Bayside. And, um, you know, for me, knowing uh, where things come from, knowing, finding the connective tissue with the past that unites um, what this community is from where it's come from to where it is today is really exciting. It really makes it, 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 it puts context to uh, what our community is and the people that are in it. So here we find that to be very invaluable. Here comes Phil. Uh, and here Another comes Phil. Another Come on in here, Phil. 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 Another councilman. Another, uh, this, is, this is Phil. We love him. Hey, Phil. hey, how you doing? Good. So, so tell us about the event today, what you guys did, and how you coordinated with uh, Valone. Well, it's, it's an ongoing uh, annual event, and it's, it's a perfect day. And... Uh, you know, we, we love seeing everybody from the community come out. It's a, you know, what more can you ask? It's a lovely town. Yep. And, and Henry, you're one of the most active guys I've ever met in the whole community. We love you. You're in the middle of everything. I'm sorry that I missed your uh, thing over at Oakland Lake. I, I, was, I was scheduled to be there and then for the day that got rained out, and then the following week I couldn't come. But tell us a little bit about what you did over at Oakland Lake. Well, my sister uh, actually did a walking tour of Oakland Lake, and uh, she... Uh, formerly worked at the Alley Pond Environmental Center, and um, she went around the lake with a group of people, and um, they showed all the different features, all the plants, all the trees that grow there, and all the great things that uh, the lake is about. And the history of Springfield Boulevard, because right. that's where the springs were, and Oakland Lake was actually the uh, water source for flushing before... Right. You know, they were there were water mains and all of that. So oh, okay, so we learn something new every day. Springfield Boulevard was because there were There's springs, springs there. Yes, right. yes. <laughs> yeah. well, see, I, I, I'm the vice president of education, so at the Bayside Historical, and we have a very uh, vast education program where children come from schools in the area and learn all about history, and it's, it's a wonderful program. We have we service 300, 1,300 children this year. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, it was very, very good. And they, they love it. They just love it. They play with the old toys and learn games from the late 1800s. And, you know, it's wonderful. I understand that you're going to be singing for us tonight. Yes, I sing the anthem. I sang for the Mets for many years. So they always, you know, can you do it again? Okay, okay. <laughs> So we're going to be speaking to them a little bit more, but now we've just learned something new. Springfield is be uh, Boulevard is because there were springs there. We and now Oakland Lake was the water source for flushing. That's right. Which was for all the flushing. Yes. Flushing, yes, yes. Wow, who knew? Yeah, Start who knew? Of the, uh, century. That's what I learned that from Aileen, actually. Right. Yeah. Well, I just recently figured out why it's called pancakes, why they call it cold cream, you know, <laughs> simple things. Why do they call it cold cream? Because it's cold. Anyway, thank you very thank much. You it's welcome. been a pleasure. Yeah, and we'll, we'll see. Are you guys going to be over there later? Yeah, yeah we'll be we over will. there later. And everybody should join the Bayside yes, Historical please. Society. Yes. Yeah. Join the Bayside Historic Society. Right. See you later. And, thank uh, you all. Okay. <laughs> just want to remind people that uh, this is the third year in a row that we've been co-sponsoring this event. This is done with the effort of volunteer members. Um, we help to put on this. It's, it's by the work of volunteers that make this happen. And when you become a member, you help make sure that we can put on these great events here at, uh, at Fort Ton. And if I can give a shout out to those in North Canton, Ohio, who is, wa <laughs> who is watching now, my, my cousin Colleen. And there's a little history there because her parents, my aunt and uncle, were stationed on this grounds, Fort Totten, in the early 40s. So there's a connection, speaking of history. It's true. We're being seen all around the world. And this year, at this time last year, um, uh, Carol Marion was in Japan watching the fireworks that you're about to watch soon. So speak to you in a little bit. And uh, thank, you, thank you all. Uh,